Okay, so meal prep time. I gotta get on it because honestly I was trying so hard to edit another video that I let it get way too late and now I just have a lot of meal prep to do before Chris gets home which is like less than an hour and also before Bobby wakes up which is like literally could be any minute. So I'm going to start by calling some shrimp. We're having jambalaya for dinner tonight. We're gonna do shrimp, uh, chicken and sausage, rice, onions and peppers and then like Chris is gonna make it so it's gonna have some cool seasonings and stuff. But I'm gonna start by thawing the shrimp. Always remember when you're thawing to either do under cold running water or in the refrigerator. That's the safest way, like on the countertop or warm water. Aren't quite as safe, more likely for foodborne illness, but if it gets too close to dinner time and they're not thawed, I might just throw a little warm water on there to help speed along the process. But the other thing Chris asked me to do to help him out for dinner tonight was chop up onions and peppers. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he has some chicken marinating in I think just like a Italian dressing or something right now. So uh, yeah, all I'm gonna do for dinner tonight, oh, I'm blurry, there we go. All I'm gonna do for dinner tonight is chop up one of each of these peppers and one onion and the rest is pretty easy. It's cause we're just use that minute rice um, and like the meats and stuff will all just cook in the pan. Um, I mean, it's not like a super easy dinner, like it's definitely an active dinner where you have to kind of be cooking stuff, but if I can get these cut up for them, it should at least be easier. And one thing I'm gonna do before I start chopping those is get some water boiling to make the macaroni salad that I'm making for just like a quick grab thing to have in the fridge. We're doing a crab and macaroni salad. Um, so I'm gonna start the water boiling for the noodles so that can just be going while I'm chopping these up. So I'm going to start chopping my veggies for the jambalaya tonight, but I wanted to tell you guys what all of our dinner plans are for the week. Um, I'm not actually gonna meal prep for every single one of them tonight, but we'll hit some of the big ones. So jambalaya is for tonight. And then we also have some leftovers from last week that we will be having on whatever busy night that we just don't feel like cooking. We also are doing uh, like, well I call them fish tacos on my little list here. But they're actually seafood tacos we're using the frozen clams that you saw in like my fridge tour video. Chris, do one of these in thirds? That seems really small. I'm gonna do it in half. Hopefully that's fine. Um, so yeah, we're using the frozen clams and like a frozen fried shrimp for the shrimp lovers of the household. I don't like shrimp, so <laughs> clams are for me. Um, but yeah, we're doing fish tacos. Anyways, they're not really fish, seafood tacos with corn and beans. Um, we are doing a falafel meal. And that's actually all the dinners we have planned because we are traveling this weekend for one. So that is taking away all of our weekend meals and we also just had some leftovers to go through. So right now I'm cutting up the veggies for the jambalaya. But one thing I like to do when I meal prep is I like to try to cut up all the veggies that I'm going to need to cut up at one time. That way it just helps whenever it comes time to like prepare the dinner that the veggies are at least already cut. Also, you only already have the cutting board and knife one time. Um, also for me, from a mental standpoint, once I'm already cutting veggies, it doesn't seem that much harder to cut more. Whereas to like start and get out the cutting board and like start it off in the beginning just feels a lot harder, so. I try to cut them all at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to be cutting up some veggies for some ratatouille. I, we just had some leftover squash and zucchini and tomatoes and we were thinking of meal preps this week. I really just thought ratatouille sounded good and since we basically had all of the ingredients for it already, I'm just adding it in, not like as a dinner item, but just as something to have in the fridge. So if I feel like heating up something really quickly, I have a nice little veggie dish in there already ready for me. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just cut up the squash, zucchini, tomato, and an onion. And literally just layer them here in this and kind of like little slices. I'll throw in some olive oil and herbs and some tomato sauce and just bake it at 350 for, I don't know, probably 30 or 45 minutes, just kind of until it looks the 
veggies are soft and it looks good and done and yeah okay so i got my ratatouille pieces all just kind of put in here it's a little like willy-nilly i didn't like do any sort of, sort of like order or anything and just fit them in there the way they could i threw a bunch of onions on top that weren't fitting i actually cut up more squash than i needed so i'm gonna add that to the pasta salad i'm making wasn't the plan but i, ha I had it so um i'm just gonna drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on this to kind of help give it nice good good flavor and season it with oh i need to get a bit of the salt i'm gonna season it with salt and a couple herbs i'm going to use oregano it smells good little touch of rosemary but not too much rosemary i don't really i feel like rosemary is kind of a strong flavor i just want a little bit of that and honestly i might just leave it at that i'm gonna throw some salt on it uh i'm gonna start it in the oven plain and then i'll probably just add a little bit of tomato sauce to finish it up i just kind of want them to get a good like brown on them first i'll probably do 30 minutes without tomato sauce add the tomato sauce do like 15 more minutes so now i'm working on the crab macaroni salad starting with some celery uh add four stalks in celery is feeling a little like weird on the outside stalks are very mushy kind of feeling so i'm just going with the inside ones we've had it for a little over a week though so i was probably going to add more celery but you know four stalks is the only good one so i'm gonna add celery i'm gonna cut up this red onion to add in there i'm not sure how much i'm gonna add of that yet i'm gonna probably mix it all up first then add like half the onion see how it tastes um but yeah while i was cutting up the other veggies i was able to cook the pasta for this okay my whole station's getting a little messy i know uh so i've got some chopped up dill that i'm gonna add into my macaroni salad i went ahead and added in the macaroni which i'm actually bought in a really big bag of noodles so there's a lot in here this is gonna be quite a hefty salad um and i added in just some of the just chunk style imitation crab meat um and now i'm going to kind of like make the sauce just here in the thing and the main ingredient is mayonnaise i know it is not the world's most healthiest option that is totally fine it's just a small part of the salad which has lots of veggies lots of good protein this is not a good spoon lots of good protein from the crab meat um and i didn't use whole grain pasta because i don't know oh bob's awake hold on okay i'm back so uh not whole grain pasta because i don't like the flavor and only half of your carbs have to come from whole grains so you know pick and choose where you want those to be Anyways, let's add in some mayo. Hey, Bob. Mayo, you know, it makes a good sauce, but it's just a gross sounding thing. And I am just going to try to add enough to like make it saucy, make it good, not like overdo it with the mayo. Also going to add in some lemon juice. I like lemon. Hopefully Chris doesn't mind me doing lots of lemon juice. Also, hopefully Chris doesn't mind me not following the recipe that he sent me earlier today because I'm not a big recipe follower. Okay, that's pretty well mixed up. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with the amount of mayo in here. It's, you know, just enough to coat, just enough to give it that like pasta salad taste, but there's definitely not like a bunch of extra. And that's one of the things I love about making like pasta salads and stuff at home is that you can control how much, you know what? I'm gonna just do like a little half a spoon more. Do you guys hear Bobby? She wants to, she wants to be heard. Okay, last thing I am seasoning with is some Old Bay. Um, and then I will add in the onion after, like I said, just like add in some, see the flavor. I mean, red onions are just, you know, they're strong. If it was up to me, I probably wouldn't put it in there, but I'm not the only one eating this salad, so I can be unselfish. Does Old Bay have salt in it? Yep, it does, okay. So I just gotta be a little careful with how much I'm putting in there. I don't want it to be too salty. I was kidding i definitely am not gonna add more red onion just enough 
to get the flavor in there, but not so much that you get a lot of bites of it. So that is my, I wasn't even planning on telling you guys the recipe, but there's, there's a recipe for some crab pasta salad. It would definitely be something that I would recommend not having like as a full meal, but maybe pairing with something else. Um, maybe a little more veggies, because even though there's a lots of good veggies in here, um, it's just not a good, very good ratio of veggies to other things. So like maybe on top of a bed of lettuce or something would be a really good way to have this. And I think I'm gonna call it a night with my meal prep. So I technically only meal prepped for one dinner, but I made two of like the ready-made items for the week, which honestly on a crazy busy night, like having this with some ratatouille might end up being a dinner but at least now we have this and it's quick grab ready to go and bobby is wanting my attention so i'm gonna end here clean up and it took me what about an hour to do all this so not too bad and i'm kind of hungry so i'm gonna eat some of this that was a quick look at my meal prep for this week typical pretty typical of my meal prep i might cut up some veggies and stuff for a couple of dinners but mainly it's making, yeah, mainly it's making like the ready-made foods. That's what really, really helps me throughout the week. So that's what I tend to do. But yeah, I guess let me know. What do you guys do for your meal prep? Or is there something you're going to try to start doing or change? And Bobby says bye. Can you say bye-bye? Okay, that's not bye-bye, but it's good enough. <laughs>